Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you some extra ways that you can save money on things. So I've done a video about this previously where I talk about how I really shifted my mindset from being a super spender to a super saver. And see, there, these are some tips and tricks that I learned along the way that you can save extra money. And I think especially being a year, over a year into the pandemic, I think it is important to kind of have these tips because you never know what can happen. Like everything can the world can completely change in one day so I think it's important to kind of have these ticks, tips and tricks up your sleeve when they need them so without further ado let's get started so the first tip is something that is pretty obvious but it is to create a budget and stick to it I think it's important to really look at your like weekly paycheck and see how it breaks down I think it's important to see like where what are your mandatory monthly expenses do you have like rent do you have health insurance car insurance do you have those things things that you know you have to pay for so it's good to kind of figure out okay each month I have to pay you know two hundred dollars in health insurance so I'm gonna put for each paycheck I'm gonna take out one hundred dollars so that by the end of the month I already have that two hundred dollars there to pay for like my health insurance like those type of things and really kind of break down your budget and see like what are your mandatory expenses this is how much I want to put into my savings this is how much I want to put in my Roth IRA and then this is how much I have left for you know the week to the next two weeks to kind of spend and I think it's really important to kind of really break everything down and see what are you spending your money on what are ways you can save extra money and once you have a general idea of where you kind of are each kind of paycheck it kind of gives you a better idea of how you can you know save extra money so tip number two is to get a store you know either a debit card or credit card so this is something that I've kind of gotten around to doing so a lot of stores now have specific like I like Target in particular because that you can either get a store debit card or a store credit card the only difference is that one's a debit and then one's a credit but you get the same benefits of each I did a store debit card from Target because that is where I usually go if I need to get like toiletries or anything so things that I have to get you know throughout my life I usually go to Target for like for just basic necessities and so if you get the store debit card this is not sponsored by Target by any means but this is something that I found very helpful most things that you can get in the store you can get an additional 5% off and then you also get you know access to different types of you know promotions and all those things so I found this has been very useful because over time that 5% may not seem like a lot but over time when you go and get your things that you need it actually adds up over time so you're able to save money on a place that you're spending money at anyways you can do the same thing for a credit card like if you just need to have that one credit card to build your credit score and you know this is what you need to buy groceries you can even do it on Amazon too so if you do like random purchases on Amazon every now and then you can do your store credit card there to in order to build your credit but you know those are things that you have you know the funds for so I think that's really beneficial and then you also like I said you get more kind of promotions as well so I think this has been really useful I think I'll kind of like show how many savings I've made since I've gotten this card um, since like October or November ish so it really kind of adds up even though if I don't spend a lot of money at Target the money that I do kind of save you know in the long run adds up tip number three is for items that you buy frequently check to see when they are on sale so this is something for like skincare I like to always have like a backup so if I have my I use up my main one like face wash or whatever I know I have my backup there when I need it and so after I've been using my backup for you know I start using it I can look to see within that time frame like I know I can have this face wash usually lasts me you know three months I can look to see when it will be on sale so you can just check every now and then and usually Target has really good promotions on like skincare you know all the shampoo conditioner toothpaste in particular because I have to use the Sensodyne because I do have an exposed root in my back tooth so that I have to use that specific toothpaste and it's a little bit more expensive but I know like this toothpaste lasts me you know 
X amount of months and so during those time period like that time period I can look to see when it can be on sale so I would just check every now and then and if it's something that I need then I can get it when it's 20% off so like one time I got like I like Target was having like a 20% off sale for some of their skincare items so that was within the period of when I needed a new um, like face scrub for the shower and then my regular daily cleanser so I ended up saving like three or four dollars which was really exciting so you can look to see when these promotions are on things that you know you're going to spend your money on and then you can get that additional 15 20 percent off in addition to the additional five percent off that you get usually with the target red card so tip number four is if there's something that you are saving your money on let's say i've been wanting a nintendo switch for like a year now but i haven't been wanting to pay the full price for it like if there's something that you are saving your money towards getting maybe try to aim for a time where you would actually reach 100 percent of your funds around one of the big like holiday sales that usually go around like there's always memorial day sales you know black friday boxing day like try to save around to like reach those funds around those like you know holiday sales events because then you'll be able to you know save extra money in the long run so if i wanted a nintendo switch i can put aside money each month until you know um, Black Friday or one of those big sales events Cyber Monday so you can get an extra deal on it because you are you're gonna have to spend a few time like a few months you know saving up for it so you might as well use that duration to kind of get a point where you can you know get a sale on it or if there's something like let's say if you really want to get a nice bathing suit for the next season but the one you currently have is fine then just wait till the end of summer where you can buy like a nicer bathing suit but they'll be on sale because they're going out of season so i think it's like perfect to kind of if there's something you need to save up for like try to plan it around certain sales that usually come around throughout the year and this one's pretty obvious but tip five is when possible try to buy things second hand so i think there are, i feel like it's not only better for your wallet but it's also better for the environment as well there are many different ways and things that you can get second hand amazon has options where you can buy used and then also you can go for me like books like i loved half price books you can get a lot of like good quality books for half the price and they're like barely used so so like that is always a deal you can always go to consignment short stores and find like higher end things that you wouldn't usually buy yourself but you can get you know used especially if you can like cater it to specific areas that are a little bit more you know wealthy and well off so I think like that's always fun and then you feel really good if you were able to find like something that would originally be like $100 you found it for like 10 so I think that also helps you kind of you know gets in the mindset of saving because you're always looking for a good deal and it's also much better for the environment like whenever I can it's been hard since the pandemic to actually go to stores but whenever I can it's always good to see if you can buy a secondhand version especially because a lot of things that we use like are totally fine like if you read a book you know unless you like destroyed it when you use it like chances are the book that you can buy secondhand will be in relatively good condition so i think there are many different ways in which you can find used books that you know will be beneficial so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you have any tips and tricks on how to get you know extra savings on things because i really it's become something that's been fun and I've gotten really good at kind of getting that but if you have any more tips and tricks leave them in the comments below because I think you know we can all help each other um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye guys